Good day everyone, in this demo I'll show you how we can use Windows 10 together with EMS, Enterprise Mobility Suite, to have a modern mobile client. Before we dive into the demo, let me quickly explain to you what the difference is with a traditional domain joint client. First of all, this type of device or this way of managing is really in a mobile way. So it doesn't matter whether the device is on-prem or somewhere out there, you manage it in the same way. This can be done in minutes and I'll show you. Another important fact is that we can transform any device, any Windows 10 device into a certain state that meets your requirements. This is completely done by the end user. I show you how we transform the device from the out of box experience into a way where it's completely done with all applications installed so the end user can start working. This is powered by Windows 10 and EMS. If you would like to know more about EMS, there is a link at the bottom of the screen, http aka.ms slash eem. There you can find more information about Enterprise Mobility Suite. So let's dive straight into the demo. Here we have a Windows 10 Pro device, which has just finished installing. I'm gonna hit Use Express Settings. And then we get the choice whether I own this PC or my organization. I'm gonna use my organization. I'm gonna hit Next. Now we get the choice whether this device should belong to a Azure AD or a domain. Now we've been doing a domain join for years. I'm gonna select Azure AD join for now. And just imagine that I use my corporate email address. However, I forgot my password. So I don't know what my password is. So I'm gonna hit, I forgot my password. Hit next. So this is one of the first EMS features, the self-service password reset. And I can choose whether it should text my mobile phone, call my mobile phone or use an ultimate email. So I'm gonna use text, I'm gonna have to enter my mobile number. Hit next, and now we wait for a second. I've received the code. And now I can enter a new password. Depending on your setup, this will even check whether the new password complies with your on-premise password complexity policy. Okay, now we're good to go. So I should be able to enter my new password. And I need to prove that I'm really the owner of this account. This device now is Azure AD joint and it's automatically en enrolled into a MDM environment. So in my setup, this is Intune, but it can also be another mobile device management solution. Now we'll go through the installation of the apps. So we'll have to wait for a minute until this is done. Now I get the question to create a pin. Like mentioned, this pin is bound to this device and it's more secure than a password. It only applies to this specific device. So from this point on, I only have to sign in with a pin, which I'll select over here. So we're logged in and as you can see, Google Chrome is already installed. And that's because this machine is automatically enrolled in Intune. There we go, Acrobat Reader just appeared. So here we can see that MSIs are being installed through the MDM channel. And we can even check whether that's true or whether this device is actually enrolled in Intune um, by going to the settings. And here we can see that we are enrolled into this MDM environment. In our example, it's Intune, but it can be pretty much any MDM available. 
So the other thing is if we go to the system itself, and we go to about, we can see that we're connected to an organization called friends and family. So this machine, again, it's not domain joint, but it's Azure AD joint. Now, if I start Internet Explorer, what you notice is that I have single sign-on access to specific resources. For example, I could visit the Office 365 portal and I will be automatically logged on without entering any credentials. Same thing is with the My Apps portal. As you can see, we don't have to enter any credentials and I can just hit a specific SaaS application that is assigned to me or my role or my group. In my example, I have a Twitter app. If I click on this app, what you'll see is that I'm automatically logged on without having to enter any credentials. So I don't know what the current password is. Here you can see I'm logged on. If I ever decide to leave this company, my account will be disabled and I won't have any access to the My App portal. Since I don't know the password of this account, I can't abuse this Twitter account at all. Now let's move on to the business store. If I open up the normal store, what you'll see is that we have a new tab, which is called Peter's Business Store. If I click on this one, I can see specific applications which are either uh, assigned to me from the public store or they could be in-house developed modern apps. So from this point on, I could either I could install one of these applications. Let's just set up mail for this user. This should be easy as well. Let's hit get started. You can see my account is auto discovered. So let's just do ready to go. And we even have an email, which is my password reset that we've done during the out of box experience. So as an end user, you're notified, but also the administrator is notified that one of the users has done a self service password reset. Now I've got my applications installed both the traditional Win32 or desktop applications and my modern apps, my emails configured. So from this point on, I should be able to work. What did we see? First of all, the end user was able to perform a self-service password reset. So in case they lose their credentials, especially after summer holidays, we see that a lot. They can perform a self-service password reset using multi-factor authentication in a very secure way. Then we joined the device to Azure AD. So not a traditional domain join, but an Azure Active Directory join. Then we enrolled the device into a mobile device management solution. In our example, in this case, it was Intune, but it can be third party MBMs as well. The user authenticated to Azure AD from that point on uh, using a pin. In case they lose the pin, they will be able to reset it. This all will give us the benefit that we have single sign-on, really true single sign-on access to specific SaaS applications. This can be web applications out there, but it can also be on-premise web applications that are exposed via Azure to the internet. Furthermore, we saw that a few applications were being installed via Intune. These were traditional MSIs and the business store was available to publish specific modern apps for a user or a specific role. I hope this gives you a good idea on what we can do today using Windows 10 and Enterprise Mobility Suite. Thank you.